Is it possible to have one singular LEGO motor not only pull the LEGO T2 camper, but also drive a vehicle? After failures, failures, and well, I think you get the idea by now. We got it. And this is how we got one singular motor to do just that. What's up, builders, and welcome back to another Valley Bros. Vitaly and Edwards is Lego Ideas. I'm Vitaly. And I'm Edward. This video is unlike any other traditional video that we have made before. But at the same time, ironically, it's kind of exactly the same because in this video, we have built up a new mock and we're actually really excited oh, to yeah. show you guys. So as you just saw, yes, we did challenge ourselves oh, yeah. for some Re reason. <laughs> we did challenge ourselves to create a Lego Technic blob that would not only pull hopefully the t2 camper which we haven't even tested yet nope. but also it drives turns us all this with one motor except exception the turning does use another motor so technically two motors <laughs> but the pulling and the driving all one motor yeah this c2 camper is a pretty heavy set oh, i don't yeah. know if you guys can see it i'm pretty sure you can it's like half on screen half not but it is a pretty heavy set so uh maybe maybe not it'll be able to pull it but hopefully it will and let's get into the video Alright, here it is guys, the V2B! Yes, the V2 Beast, because that's what uh, Vitaly decided to call it. Anyway, this is the Technic thing we built up. You guys have seen little uh, clips of it in the intro. Oh, yeah. The reason we called it V2 is because it's version 2.0. And it sort of uses almost like a, I call it like a V2 engine, sort of. Engine, I say, but. So, as you guys can see, this thing is actually pretty, pretty big. Um, it's also pretty, pretty weird looking. <laughs> so, yeah, well, it's, it's pretty light too, so. And also not that stable, because we're great at technique. As you can see, um. <laughs> so, uh, I guess we should introduce the V2 Beast to you guys. Right, so this, at, like, first glance, is actually, it looks really, really complicated. It all looks super sophisticated, trust me. It's not, because we built it. A bunch of these parts were actually built separately, but then put yeah. together at the end. Uh, that probably took us the longest time just figuring out the most efficient way to put them together and just, you know, connecting them. It does. <laughs> it took us about a week to build this. Bear yeah, it's us. been taking us a really long time, but it's finished and we're really, really proud of it. And obviously, as I had said earlier, it's not the prettiest thing no. you'll be seeing on this channel. But it does work very, very well. I guess we could give you guys like a small demonstration of it. Here's the remote guys that we have been using to test this multiple times and it's hooked yeah. up to this. Quickly, how we're gonna quickly test this, we have this like little anchor thing back here. Let me switch it first. <laughs> it's on driving. All right, yeah, we have to manually switch it between modes using that little thing. It's a manual gear shifter. Yeah, it's... <laughs> so yeah, this is it if it's not too bright. Um, if Edward will just pull or we we're not let's, testing let's that move yet. the camper because we're not testing that just yeah, no. yet well connect it to this car we have here somehow we're gonna find a way if you just release that a little i'll pull it here you guys can see it working um and if we get the wedges edward and i design real quick so as you guys could see the actual motor that's <laughs> pulling the string and like releasing it and everything is actually going very slow compared to what the mo actual speed of the oh, motor yeah. is <laughs> that's not on purpose because we don't want it to go too fast because with a heavy load like the t2 camper it'll be skipping a yeah. lot of gears so yeah that was all done on purpose we have we do have uh, some problems because we're using fishing line i don't know how this is working <laughs> how how is that <laughs> watch this guys look at it. it it looks like really easy right now but like this is that's nothing this is all just for the t2 camper and we're actually kind of scared something's not gonna go right but we, yeah we actually built this in mind to try to lift the t2 camper so. yeah this entire thing was built just to but as you can see it actually works very very well it's not really having not having any issues currently Besides okay, that, well that that was just loose. It wasn't really connected. <laughs> yeah, but there you guys could see that little demonstration of how it really works It's kind of like a tow truck if you will all this stuff here is for this <laughs> just to connect it Yeah, it's just because this can be pulled out. So all this is connected. So 
It's pretty stable, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. So a little bit of the backstory of how we even came to this. Our little brother, Alex, um, shout out only Alexa 321, just like gaming slash everything channel. It's not on his channel, but he made something that's kind of like it. it it's more meant for speed, but it also has a winch. And I take an uh, engineering class in school, so I kind of wanted to put what I learned in that class in here. So this is what we got. It's just meant for more heavy stuff and his is meant for more speed. And that's what we've been actually using to test the winch. Yeah. Also, as you guys could see here, <laughs> this main area is uh, actually what Vitaly started working on. Uh, just the basics of it, not the entire thing, oh, yeah. just like the, some spot in that main area. And the then back, I actually, basically. yeah, I actually <clears throat> began working on the winch. Yeah, I, I, yeah, basically that entire spot with all uh, the, the gears that pull them in. And we put those two together and then basically built around it and yeah. just added a few more stuff. So as you guys can see the winch, we used this, Edward used this piece to actually make the winch spin. Yeah. So I think it's a pretty simple, pretty cool, pretty well yeah. designed. Um, and it, it just, it worked really well. So I mean, I don't know about the well design. We'll put that to the test. Oh when, yeah. I guess. I, I guess it's time it is time for us to lift the t2 camper guys we haven't found a mounting point yet <laughs> yeah what's the best way to do this just make sure the wedges are in places three two one okay it's not oh it's doing something oh <laughs> wait this thing is like twice maybe triple its weight the way it's actually pulling it. Come on, I hear a few gears skipping. Yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's actually what? This is first impressions, guys. How? We never. How is this even working? Come on, just pass the line. Pass it. Uh, hey! Oh, yes. Oh. We did it! I can't believe it! How did that even work? I don't know. <laughs> that shouldn't have worked! This, feel this versus it's, it's, this. This is so light versus like, that. If, you got, if any of you have the T2 camper, you would know. Like, it's heavy. It is heavy. How? And you see, this thing This thing that we built up is weak and brittle. The, v, the V2 Beast. Beast, yeah. It's version 2. V2 Beast! It's brittle. <laughs> It is really brittle. I'm, I'm so happy. That was what the whole video was technically all about. I'm so glad it worked, because that means we're like done with this project now. And we spent so long on it. <laughs> yeah, we just finished it. Not too long ago, actually. All right, <laughs> um, so it pulled the T2 camper, and we're just gonna show you that it drives. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there's nothing else. Like, that's it, it just drives. Watch it drive. It's pretty slow, but it can get up things pretty easily. Keep in mind, we used one motor to do to do the driving yeah. and the pulling. So it kind of had to be slow because all the gears we had to use couldn't really do a one-to-one -one gear ratio because the way it worked. So it wasn't really going to work like that, but we still got it. It works pretty well. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're really happy. And as you guys can see, obviously it turns as well. I'm breaking it. <laughs> anyway that is going to wrap up hopefully a quick video for you guys maybe less than 10 minutes uh yeah so it was a pretty short video but i hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and if you did enjoy consider well don't consider actually do like but consider subscribing because yeah. it helps the channel out a lot subscribe for v2 beast especially yeah subscribe for v2 beast yeah. uh and if you guys actually uh we would love it if you guys left a comment down below not only because uh, it would just help out the channel, you know, promote the channel, like, it's, it looks better on YouTube. Yeah. But, in case you guys have any ideas of what other challenges you want us to do, let us know. We'd be really happy to hear them and, you know, talk to you guys about it. And we really enjoyed this challenge, even though it was super hard. It took so long. To we loved it. Like, we spent so long on it. It was just so much fun. So, yeah. We want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we hope to see you guys in our next video. That's Vitaly. And that's Edward. And, and we're, we're the Valley Bros. And don't forget, live life Lego.